Saxon gives it up to Marshallonis, who saw the St. Mary's starting five. No Joshua Jefferson out for the year, one of their best players. Dukas, nice pass, and Saxon with the dunk for the first bucket of the night. Good patience, good poise, good pacing. Meanwhile, this starting five, they made the change, and the season took off when Ben Gregg came into the starting lineup. They have been almost unstoppable since then. Ike scores to answer. Well, he's been an unstoppable force. Randy Bennett would like to see Ike attempting more frequently. Here's Saxon again. He's been very aggressive on the first few possessions. And Alex Duke is finding him. Emhart down the lane. Bounces it to E.K. who scores. The most dominant big man in the country over these last few weeks. Mahaney open three. Got it. After Gonzaga went for the steal, Mahaney hits his first shot. To be in this building sitting here really since 2010. Yeah, we've seen so many of these title game matchups. Hickman off the pass from Nemhard found an opening and got the bucket. There's been times in, in Moraga in particular they did a great job. They spaced him to the corner and got him some three-point shots. But Mitchell Saxon starts to go to work. Mark Few keep him over there. There's 14 minutes left in the first half. Haney drives, ducks under, and flips it up and in off the glass. Understanding it's everybody on the floor with him. Mahaney, excellent up and under move to finish, but Mitchell Saxon, the star big man for Gonzaga, on the bench with two fouls, Graham E.K. And St. Mary's has 10 of their 15 points in the paint. Ryan Nemhard, pull up, is good. This whole college basketball season, they love to live in the paint, and if you can get there and have that kind of success, you start breaking down the defense real easy. And taking over this contest. Missed layup by Marshall Onis. Mitchell Saxon, one of the best offensive rebounders in the country, got up above the rim. Nemar trying to thread it, and he did. What a pass. Watson attacks, flips it to Huff. Huff with the right hand. That's his offhand. That's a nice move. Part of Gonzaga's win late in the year at Rupp Arena against Kentucky. He's not overmatched or intimidated going in there. Mahaney, what a tough shot. Mahaney, three for three now from the field. Aggressive move from Aiden Mahaney. At times, Aiden Mahaney can be a little bit frustrating to watch because you see this skill set that he has offensively. Watson against Dukas. Anton Watson, tough move. Bodies flying everywhere. Oh, that, that felt like a break for the Zags. Nemhard three. Got it. Good. Point lead early. No EK on the floor. Look for number zero to continue to be aggressive and try to make plays. He's been outstanding over. Gonzaga's defense right now really sagging off two different Gales players. Marshallonis up and under. And Gonzaga comes away with the ball. You got Dusty Stromer on Mitchell Saxon. You got to get Mitchell Saxon the ball. Yeah. Gales couldn't get it into him, so Dukas will just take it all the way. He be just drove up right off of Mitchell Saxon to the fabric and the culture of this program since he's been on campus. Just like Dukas, he's going to leave as the all-time leader in games played in his program's history. Saxon couldn't finish there with some contact. Under six to go first half. Zingler still having a tough time on this end of the floor. Marshall Lonis, tough move. Emhard to a streaky Watson for the dunk. We haven't seen a lot of that, but he excels in the open floor. I do like the fact that they're letting these players play. They're letting some contact go. Marshallonis <laughs> avoided the contact and kind of sweeped it in with his left hand. Physical game here. Down low, Ike. Catch and score. Yeah, Graham Ike got upset. He got a little bump in the transition. Marcellonis wanted to get Mitchell Saxon the ball, but Mahaney reversed it instead. And he'll hit the three. Good decision. Yeah, worked out really well for St. Mary's. Back up by three. And hard at Ike, that two-man game, which has just worked so beautifully. And this time, it's Nemhard's turn to score. Now both of them transferring into the program, trying to figure out the culture and how they have to partake in it. Well, they left Marshallonis wide open. And Randy Bennett wants a timeout after the made three. And without Saxon down there, EK, you figure, is just going to go. Marshallonis, what a help side defensive play that was to block it from behind. You just expect that they know it. Yeah. And they are usually comfortable. Here's a layup. 
Nemhard all the way, and oh, Marcellonis with another block. A couple seconds on the clock from half court. Almost went for Barrett. Blocked, though, by Marcellonis. He had a clear lane to the hoop. I thought it was for sure two for Nemhard. And instead, Marcellonis tracks him down from behind and pins it on the backboard. Wow, what a way to end this. First possession of the second half, and St. Mary's has it. Forbes off the pass from Mahaney, and very aggressively, Mason Forbes lays it in. I mean, it's why it comes Selection Sunday, whoever sees St. Mary's on the other side of their first matchup, it, it's just a pain to play the Gales. Mahaney hits the three from the corner. On the inbounds, Emhart. Two-man game, screen and roll with E.K. And he finds him sort of delayed, and E.K. scores from the lane. And down play here for St. Mary's. Well, they backed off Mahaney, just invited is, him to that, take that three. That is a breakdown by Graham E.K. So he just backs off, and Mahaney said, are you going to give it to me? I'm going to take it. And he's been in a rhythm tonight. He's got 16. Gonzaga's a team that has usually come out of the break and started to assert itself right away. St. Mary's has at least weathered the first three minutes of that. Anton Watson, nice move by him. I like the referee, Mike, though. I do, too. I wish we had it at every single one of our games. Yeah, it's, it's good, and the fans appreciate it. Watson attacks. Anton Watson, another bucket for him. Emhart's having a hard time against Marcellona's getting by. Shot clock winding down. Here's Ben Gregg, the three. Got it! Point of interruption. All right. Now Saxon, shot clock winding down. Mitchell Saxon to the basket. Huff blocked the shot. By Huff. The verticality. Watch the drive. Goes straight up with his hands. Doesn't break his arms. Then just wall up verticality. Watson over to Nemhard. Nemhard's going to go all the way. Scoop it up and in. It's March. There's something magical about it every single year. Saxon, good pass. Forbes scores. Ben Gregg defending Mitchell Saxon. How about Mahaney went right by Anton Watson. That was a good move. Watson a little running hook. Ben Gregg crashes the offensive glass and Gregg lays it in with a foul. And that one could be against Saxon. Was not on me and I wonder if the officials will take a look at it. Luke Barrett saying that was on him. And they're going to change it. Let's see. Well, it was definitely on Barrett. He's the one who raked Ben Gregg across yeah. the face. Shot clock down to seven. Now Mahaney against Stromer. Mahaney dribbling around. Tries to get a shot off. Stromer blocked it. Good right. defense there. 14 points, 12 rebounds on the night for Mitchell Saxon. Marcellonis goes all the way. Marcellonis with the left hand. Beautiful. Nolan Hickman. That one's good. He's let the game come to him. He hasn't forced his offense as much this season. I think that's been huge. Watson in the lane. Another bucket for Anton Watson. He's got 14. With two points tonight for Dukas off of that game. He had 21 last night. Really quiet, and that's been the case for him this year against Gonzaga. Forbes dunks it home along the baseline. He's been quiet the last few minutes. Barrett catch and shoot three. Too short. Rebound. Forbes comes away with it. Now Mahaney will try. Got it. Playing with four fouls. So is Mitchell Saxon who's guarding him. They post him up right away. Yeah. EK goes to work. Graham EK immediately gets a bucket. Only in the last three minutes, Dave. Okay, all 40 minutes, but Thank especially you. now. Mahaney pull up from the free throw line. Another bucket for Aid Mahaney. Marcellonis against EK. Marcellonis a little runner with the soft touch. Off the rim it goes down. The lead is up to nine. Marcellonis has just played so smart tonight. 13 points, eight assists, only one turnover. Emhard, they needed that one big time. The lead is up to 11. Gonzaga. Emhard's going to go all the way to the basket and lay it in. Now they'll set up some pressure. St. Mary's basically all they got to do is not turn it over. Mahaney, Marcellonis, and now it's Mitchell Saxon all alone for the dunk. 
And you look at Gonzaga, how well they played coming into this game. And you look at St. Mary's and the chip on their shoulder. Their only loss in conference play came at the on their home court. Home court. They're undefeated on true road games this season. Yeah. What a season it's been, and it's not over for Alex Dukas and the St. Mary's Gales. And those two head coaches, incredible respect and competition between those two. The celebration on the court for the Gales 2010, 2012, 2019, and 2024 in this era of this rivalry. The fourth time that St. Mary's has taken down the Zags in this championship game. Their fifth all time WCC tournament championship. Their 26th win of the year. And this one was hard earned. So familiar with one another. A lot of respect you see Dukas and Watson talking. Uh, both these teams look like they're ready made to advance in the NCAA tournament and wear home colored uniforms. Uh, this this means a lot to that small school in Moraga. They, they, they understand that Randy Bennett will tell you if it wasn't for Gonzaga and their success that was the, that was the, sh the pie in the sky. We close the gap. How can you close the gap year after year trying to get it done this year. They win the outright regular season title and they come to Vegas and they win the outright WCC tournament championship. And you think about these Gales players how much it means to all of them to, to Randy Bennett Alex Dukas this will be his final time that he unless who knows maybe in the final four the Zags of the Gales can meet again but probably the final time and St. Mary's comes out on top a great championship game it's been a great season in this league.